What's up everybody, Steve here with Steve Invest. I was watching a video of Kevin O'Leary, AKA Mr. Wonderful. I'm sure you guys have seen him on uh, Shark Tank. If you haven't, you've probably been living under a rock or don't watch any kind of TV. Anyway, he, um, he had a story that I was watching on YouTube and it kind of struck a nerve with me. And I think his story really made him who he is today when he was basically a teenager. But essentially, long story short, he was working for a, uh, an ice cream store, scooping ice cream for customers. And toward the end of his shift, he had basically a hot date waiting for him, right? And uh, she's waiting, I guess, across the way in, uh, in some sort of shopping mall, something like that. And she's waiting on him and his employer basically said, hey, before you leave, you have to scrape off all the gum on the floor. And he kind of debates her and says, you know, that's not why you hired me. You hired me to basically uh, scoop ice cream and basically feed, you know, customers. And she was adamant saying, no, you know, if you still want your job, that's what you have to do. And he's like, there's no way I'm gonna do that. You know, this hot date I got waiting across the way, she's, she's waiting for me, she's watching me. There's no way I'm gonna do that. And the lady fired him on the spot. And it really struck a nerve with me because I was kind of in the same situation. I was working for a company called, um, it was a restaurant, a rib joint called Tony Roma's. And I remember this clearly, especially, you know, it really, really made me, uh, after listening to Kevin's story, it made me, you know, kind of reflect on this situation that I had. And basically, me and my buddy, we both worked there. We were all pumped up, excited to go to the beach. And uh, it was a sat, it was a basically a Friday night that we were working, and we had plans to go to the beach on Saturday. And um, we were super stoked about it and so forth. And the general manager calls us in for a meeting that Friday, that Friday night, and he was pissed off at the entire restaurant. He was, he was just, he was kind of a dick, but he was extremely pissed off at the entire restaurant and calls the entire restaurant after everybody shifts, calls everybody in and goes, there's a mandatory meeting on Saturday and everybody's gotta be there or you're fired. Again, we already had plans set up and everything else. This is back in, you know, when I was in college, I was probably, I don't know, maybe 19 years old. So, I literally raised my hand, I go, hey man, I, I got plans, I'm not gonna be there. And he goes, if you don't show up, you're fired. And I was like, I look at my buddy, and he was on the same boat. I mean, we had plans to go to the beach, whatever. So I told him that, I go, I'm, I'm not showing up, so I guess I'm fired. And he was all pissed off, and he's like, I guess you are. So, left that night, didn't show up on that Saturday. And I had a shift to work, I think that like Monday night or something. And I assumed I was fired, right? That's what he said. So he says I'm fired and um, on that Saturday. So I didn't show up for the Monday night shift because I thought I was fired. So he's calling me and he's like, you know, where are you at? And I was like, He's like, where, where are you and your buddy at? And I was like, where, I thought we we're fired. And he's like, no, you guys are not fired. I was like, well, uh, I already made plans and I thought I was fired and I've already started searching for a new job. Anyway, the point I'm making, and I think this is how it changed Kevin O'Leary's life as well, is I'm not, I, I realized at that point in time, I knew, I kind of knew that I didn't want to work for anybody and I just didn't want to have anybody to have any kind of control over my life of when I had to be at work, how much money I was going to be paid. So while I was in college, I got my real estate license and I vowed, you know, from that point in time, you know, I did, did work for another company called Red Bull for a certain amount of time. And then um, 
thereafter, I just, I, I knew I didn't want to work for the man. I knew that if I succeeded, it was on me. If I failed, it was on me. And I did a lot of both. And for every failure, I learned tremendously from. And I don't regret it for a second. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is I think that everybody listening to this and watching this, you guys need to prepare. I think, I predict that there's going to be a lot of big companies, a lot of larger companies out there that are going to be filing for bankruptcy and laying a lot of people off because they are not fiscally responsible with their money. Um, I just did a video on Hertz as well. You guys might want to check that one out. And I'll put a link below as well. But allowing an employer to have so much control over... If you're gonna have a job that next day is scary. I would be I would be super scared if I if I was not in business for myself. So I think everybody needs to protect themselves. You need to have a plan A, B, C, and D. Even if you're gonna go work for somebody else, make sure you guys are developing those relationships with other employers. See who's out there. See, but you know, dive into the financials with these businesses. Don't be afraid to ask if they're financially and fiscally responsible. Because why would you want to spend time helping to grow an organization that's just going to be weak at the hips? That's not a good position that you guys are going to want to be in. And another thing is, I want you to start figuring out how you can make money that you create. Alright, and it doesn't have to be a lot to start with. You know, what, what could you create to sell? What could you buy and flip? What, what kind of service could you provide out there that somebody could benefit off and that you could charge for on a part-time basis while you're still working for somebody else. I highly encourage you guys to figure out how you can make additional money outside of your employer to ensure that you guys are building up a safety net, that you do have side money that you guys are starting to put away so you can invest it into real estate or other income producing assets. You know, who knows what you could build that could just grow over time and then eventually you might not need to rely on an employer. You might have that security of your own independent wealth and what you've grown. So anyway, I implore you guys to really start seeking that out. Start a YouTube channel, start a side business, start si some kind of side hustle for you guys to, to learn from and grow and to make money and make side money to protect you and your family and, and grow your wealth. If you do like this kind of content, you like this video, I appreciate a big thumbs up. Thanks a lot.